listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are exploring the devotional titles of Mary. Yesterday, we talked about Mary and her immaculate heart. And today we are talking about Mary as the mother of sorrows. Before we dive in, though, please join me in our May prayer that comes from Fatima, the pardon prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Amen. So like we were talking about yesterday with the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mary's heart is oftentimes shown pierced with a sword. Now, this refers to the prophecy that was given to her when she brought Jesus to the temple at the the presentation. You can read this conversation in the in the Bible where he, she was told that she would face such sorrows that her heart would be pierced by a sword. And we know that indeed Mary's life was full of sorrows, great joys, but also great sorrows. And so when we remind ourselves that Mary is not afraid of bad things, she's not afraid of discomfort and sadness, it is a great comfort to us that she will always be near us, that she won't abandon us, and also that she knows what we're going through. So our Mother of Sorrows refers to seven specific sorrows that we can see Mary experiencing in sacred scripture. And there is a devotional that goes along with these different mysteries. Also, it's important to remember that when Mary appeared in Cabejo, Rwanda, about 50 years ago, she identified herself as the Mother of of sorrows or the mother of the word. She used both of those titles. So clearly this is something that heaven has affirmed and it is a powerful way to really connect with Mary and her life as a mother to reflect on her sorrows. So here are the seven sorrows of Mary. Number one, the prophecy of Simeon in the temple at the presentation. Number two, the flight of the Holy Family into Egypt. Number three, the three days when Jesus was lost in the temple as a boy. Number four, Jesus carries the cross. Number five, Jesus is crucified while his mother stands at the foot of the cross. Number six, Jesus is taken down from the cross and laid in his mother's arms. And number seven, Mary lays her son in the tomb. Now, reflecting on each of these gives us a different perspective on how we can remain virtuous, holy, and totally obedient to God's will, even when we are suffering and facing something very, very hard. And so today, my challenge for you, Sprouts, is to pray to Our Lady of Sorrows. Let's all just pray one Hail Mary after we're done listening today and offer her whatever sadness or hardship we are going to face today. Maybe it's a difficult relationship or an illness, or it could be anything, grief even, But let's offer those things to Mary and trust that as our mother of sorrows, she is here, she is with us, and she will never leave us. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. 
Hey there, Sprouts. I know summer is quickly approaching, and I wanted to let you know that Catholic Sprouts this summer will be hosting a virtual vacation Bible school. It's going to be very fun. We're going to be talking about the works of mercy, but not just talking about it. We are also going to be building an orphanage in Uganda with the help of many other people. It's going to be it incredible experience. I hope that you plan to join us. The dates are June 17th through the 20th. It is going to be virtual so you can join. We just have a flat fee for families. Check out the notes for this podcast episode to learn more and to sign up. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.